As you may have noticed from all of my videos, I'm something of an idealist. Yeah, yeah, I'm an idealist, and you know what they say about idealists. But, and you know, sometimes I catch crap for being an idealist. Well, man, you got to live in the real world. You know, you got to think about things as they are. You're a dreamer. I'm sure you've heard that. That's one of the many things people say about idealists. You're a dreamer, right? Then again, John Lennon had something to say about dreamers. I prefer his message. And that's where I come to the point here. You can call me an idealist all derisively, and I will turn around and call you broken. What do I mean by that? Well, quite simply, idealism isn't bad. It isn't wrong to sit there and say, yes, the world is like it is right now. But, but, and here's that key point, it could be better. It could be different than what it is right now. It could be, right? This isn't how it has to be for all time, how things are right now. And that is where idealism comes from, is people looking at this world and saying, you know, all right, I see how it is. It's all right. But we could make it better, right? This doesn't have to be this way. It could be different. It could be better, greater. And then people will turn around and say, you're an idealist. What? Like, that's a bad thing. Dreaming of things being better is a bad thing? I, I'm flummoxed by this. I'm flabbergasted. Because it is the idealists, the dreamers, the people who looked beyond today that made so many social revolutions happen. At one point... You know, the people who are sitting there talking about rights for black people during the 60s, right? They were the idealists. You know, those savages would never have rights equal to us. They couldn't handle it. Or insert your stupid, ignorant, racist excuse, right? But it were, you know, it was one, the dreamers among the black people who said, you know, we can make this different. It doesn't actually have to be this way forever. We can change it. And it was the idealists among the white people who said, you know, this is the system as it is now, and I think it could be different. See, it's idealism that makes these sorts of changes first envisioned. People who look at the world as it is now and, ju and don't have the imagination to see it differently, those people aren't going to sit there and come up with a better vision for tomorrow, are they? No, they're stuck in right now. They're stuck in today because today is as it is, right? Everything is the way it is and that's how it should be. But... We have the dreamers, the idealists, the people who look beyond what is right now, and they see what it could be. They are the inventors. They're the people who sit there and say, I have a block of something. What could it become? We have a civilization. What could it become? And you know what? If you want to sit there and say, I'm a dreamer, I'm an idealist, or everybody who feels this way is just lost in the clouds, then you can say that. And that's where it comes back to that I return with, you are broken. Why? Are you broken? Because you've lost the will to dream. You've lost the will to see beyond today. And I can't think of a worse thing to do to yourself than to lose hope for tomorrow. Worse than lose hope, just lose the ability to see a tomorrow that's different from today. If you lose that, then where's the spark of creativity in you at all? Where, what is meaningful in your life then beyond just dragging on today forever, huh? If everything must always be the same, it's good enough right now, right? Then nothing changes. Nothing grows and evolves. And now we're just going to get into biology here. Eventually, anything that is stagnant long enough dies because it hasn't changed. And that could be us. I don't know. Maybe we could proceed on ad infinitum in some stagnated, useless, today society that never changes. Maybe we have the power. But to me, that's hell. That's hell on earth right there. A never-ending, everything's-good-enough world. Is that something you want to be a part of? I don't. And that is why I think idealism is one of the greatest things you can have. Be a dreamer. Be someone who looks at tomorrow and envisions it completely differently than today. And then think about how that could be made possible. Maybe all it will ever be is a dream. Maybe you can't make it change. But you know what? You're thinking. You're envisioning something new. You're imagining. And that is where change comes from. That's something to think about, I think.